Being released is one of the worst and most difficult things a footballer could ever possibly go through. And I'm confident in saying that a majority of us have probably experienced this in our lives once or twice. And the sad reality of this is that a majority of the time, this is one of the main factors which leads to the end of a majority of footballers' careers. Especially in youth football, a lot of youth players looking to pursue football do quit once they're released, which is, like I said, extremely, extremely sad. So what is the actual best thing to do once you're released? Should you quit? Should you just join Sunday League, an amateur system where you can just enjoy football? Well, ultimately, it does depend on a lot of factors, but I know you're a motivated footballer. You wouldn't be watching this video otherwise, so these two options would probably not be the best for you. A lot of people would argue that there's not enough of support for players when they're being released during this whole process, you know, before, during and after. Um, a lot of people would say and argue that, you know, like I said, there's not enough support for these players. This whole process is unimaginably tough on your mental health, especially as a young man who's, you know, motivated and looking to actually go on and have a good career within football. And unfortunately, we read a lot of stories, too many stories as of lately, or about young men or teenagers who have been taking their lives within the world of football, especially, you know, after they've been um, released, which is exactly why we need to handle this situation better. This shows us that we need to do better as players, as mentors, as coaches, as, you know, football programs, etc, etc. So let's actually take a step back and think about actionable things you can do as a player in this scenario. The first mistake a lot of players make in this situation is they let their ego get in the way. The truth is that within a majority of these academies that do release a lot of players, um, they actually do have a lot of things to support the players even when they've been released. This may not apply to every single academy in the world. I'm sure there's one person watching this video thinking they got released five years ago and did absolutely nothing to you know support them and to that i can understand and you know feel sad for you um but it is the truth that a majority of academies especially nowadays do actually provide a lot of support for their players when you know they're being released whether that's helping them find a club you know that that could be a semi-professional club or an academy lower it down in the system and even when they're trying to find them a team a lot of the time they will even help and let that player continue training at that team um, whilst you know they're searching for a new team which is a very good opportunity for you to continue working continue growing even though you know you know you won't be playing in the games for that academy now like i said not all academies do this i'm sure you've seen it or heard about a player being released and then they're just absolutely forgotten about straight away but in my experiences from what i've seen first hand on and heard about is that players in these scenarios are actually supported more than you'd imagine which is why i can actually say that a lot of players do make their first mistake when being released because of their ego in this scenario once they've been released they've got this complete anger towards the team they're like screw this team i don't need them they don't want me so i don't care them care about them at all which is understandable to some extent but you have to sort of get rid of these feelings of course it's okay to be angry and upset that's normal but if you've got that support there, if you've got that option to, you know, use their help and support to find a new team and let you train with them, use it. You might as well make the most of it because right now that's probably the best option you have. Obviously, it's going to be difficult. Obviously, it could be awkward, you know, the training with your ex-teammates. Um, they've, you know, been giving a slot for the new year and you've essentially been kicked out, which is extremely tough. So if you're in this situation of being released, take a step back, analyze your current situation and think, is this the best option or do you have other options? Speaking of other options, option two would be to take things into your own hands. You can search for a team yourself. Yes, it can be difficult, but there are platforms, people and other things out there to help. We are confident in saying that we have built over the last two, three years, the best platform for footballers to actually find new opportunities, whether that's through our subscription service where we actually network on your behalf or through all these partnerships we've sort of built and developed, like I said, over the past few years. We've got quite a lot of partnerships now because we wanted to sort of find and develop the best opportunities for players, no matter what your situation is or no matter what situation you want to be in. For example, we do have partnerships with full-time academies and clubs in Spain. We've got a full-time private academy in Poland. Um, we've got opportunities for people to 
pursue football and education, you know, with university, online university, and also the companies will help you find a full-time footballing environment. And even if USA is the option you'd like to pursue, then we can help you with finding scholarships as well. So that is just to name a few. And me saying all this isn't trying to plug everything we've got going on at j &M. It's just to sort of show you an example of, of how many platforms and people are out there who can actually help you get to where you want to be. Throughout this video, especially in the earlier stages, I did talk lightly about mental health and how impactful this can be negatively for players, which obviously is understandable and it's very tough and we need to learn how to deal with it better. Um, the first link in the description of this video is to a charity called Mind. We have worked with this company in the past before. We've done quite a few things for them to try and raise some money. Uh, they're an excellent company and charity for mental health. They do work specifically in football as well, but outside of football as well. So I have linked some resources they've got completely free for you if you just wanted to have a read, have a light look. Um, they do have a lot of resources to help people anyone with you know mental health mental clarity whatever it is you're looking for so that does just about wrap it up i hope you did enjoy this video um beautiful new jnm merchandise by the way i don't know if it's gonna be mirrored if you or not either way i think it looks pretty decent not for sale currently just wanted to get it done for myself um but yeah going back to the video i hope you guys did enjoy it i hope you learned something if you did make it this far please consider subscribing and leaving a like we would really appreciate it as we're trying to push this channel as much as possible. Thank you again, and I shall see you in the next one.